One amazing feature of the DIY Weaver is that you can use it to weave shapes. Whether you're making a shaped pillow or the flap of a bag, let your imagination run wild. We're going to learn how to weave shapes starting with a heart. I'm following a diagram for peg placement, but you can put your pegs in any shape that you want. I'm going to start my warp as I usually do with a slip knot on the lower left side of my loom base. When you're warping, always keep in mind the shape that you are trying to achieve. Follow the shape across the loom base as you normally would for warping. End with a slip knot on your last peg. Since I'm starting at the tip of the heart shape, I'm going to weave back and forth with my needle weaver. Weave just as for basic weaving, pushing down each row with the comb. As you weave the shape, be careful not to wrap your weft yarn around the pegs. Continue weaving, switching to the shuttle when you feel comfortable, and switching back to the needle weaver when you're weaving in small sections. We are now going to work the halves separately. Continue in basic weaving, working back and forth on one section of the warp at a time. I love this self-striping color of Woolies Thick and Quick called Hudson Bay. It does the work for you. Weave the remaining sections of your shape in the same way. Remove the weaving as you normally would. Remember, go to lionbrand.com for more DIY weaver design ideas and how-tos.